All right, everybody, hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am April and I am the Wolf Ranch Girl. And um, today we are gonna be doing something that I have not done before. Um, I'm gonna have to take my glasses on and off probably. I'm trying to keep them off uh, because I didn't want the lights to get, you know, all reflecty um, and everything. So, um, doing something a little bit different today. The last couple of videos that I've done have been budget related and this is kind of budget related, but not really. Um, we're going to go through some empties. So, uh, today was a long day. I actually left school early, came home, did some cleaning, went and picked up my son. So I was going to get all fancied up and everything and was like, well, if this video is going to get done, it needs to get done. Um, and I just don't have time to get super fancy, so that is real life. So anyway, let's get to the empties. Okay, so like I said in the intro, we're gonna be going through some empties today and I'm probably gonna be um, taking my glasses on and off, uh, making sure that I can read everything for you. So the empties that I'm gonna go through today, I have been collecting in um, this bag for probably since December. So there's quite a few things in here um, and some of them are like, <clears throat> bathroom stuff, um, you know, uh, body washes, some of them are cleaning supplies, some of them are uh, kitchen pantry staples. So you guys let me know what you're interested in. I always like these videos because I feel like I get to see what other people are using and if they like them or not. They're kind of like a small impromptu reviews. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So the first couple that I'm going to show you are actually um, this one and so this is a room spray bottle from Grove that I have repurposed and I have been playing around with making my own room spray so um, I really like the vanilla and cedar wood essential oils mixed with water and um, so you just mix it you just fill it with water and then put um, 10 20 30 drops of essential oils and then when you spray it I don't know if you guys can see it there but it makes a really fine mist and you just mist it onto your um, comforters your pillows um, your curtains any dried flowers anything like that uh, dog beds um, rugs anything that's fabric brace and it's like your own personal Febreze so um, this is one piece of plastic that did not go into the landfill and then um, I also posted a video on making my own dish soap and that's what this container is and it is also a repurposed dish soap um, I'm out and uh, I'm gonna make some more um, I did really like it. I went ahead and purchased another brand. If I can, um, I'll pop a picture in or I can just go get it. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, I ran and got it. So you guys, I, for about the last year, have been transitioning out of normal um, grocery store brands to cleaner type brands. I just want to try and be as healthy as possible. So I've been kind of transitioning out some things and trying, just trying new stuff. If it works for me, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I'll either find another alternative or I'll go back to using what does work. But the custom blend dish soap really did work and it did save money because all of the ingredients that I used, I used a very small amount of them. So even though it took a little bit of extra time, I wouldn't think it took any more time than going to the store, picking up a thing of dish soap, and then bringing it home. So time-wise, it didn't really 
make that much of a difference uh, when you look at it that way where you have to get in your car drive to the store go through the store pick up whatever it is that you're wanting to buy checking out you could be standing in line whatever and then driving back home in that time I could make um, the dish soap the room spray and the face wash um, that I've made and I did make a video on this so I'll link this above um, but you guys, if you've been a part of this community for any time, you've seen my house. I have very beachy kind of colors in my house and I saw this um, <laughs> bottle so I bought it because I like the color better than this one. I know that's kind of cheesy. But this was at Walmart. It's called Safely. Um, and it's a 16 ounce, ounce uh, bottle of dish soap. Um, and it is supposed to be a cleaner brand. Um, yeah, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Again, I'm on a new journey here. Another thing from the kitchen that I purchased was this uh, Splenda and Monk Fruit. Um, I usually use Truvia in my coffee in the morning. I use um, two packets of Truvia. And then I was reading that Splenda is supposed to be healthier for you than Truvia. I don't use regular sugar because it gives me such horrid heartburn. I don't know why it just does. Um, and Truvia or Splenda are the only two that I found that don't give me an odd taste. So I thought that I would try this Splenda and Monk Fruit blend. And <clears throat> I did not like it in my coffee, but I did like it when we made tea. So um, like I've got some green tea here and I was using agave nectar um, and I ran out of that so I used this and I did like it. I like the agave nectar better um, but this was okay. It didn't leave a weird taste in my mouth with the cold beverages but it did with the hot beverages. So I don't know if I'll buy this again but anyway. Um, the next item that is empty for us, let me see if I can figure out how to do this, is Pedialyte. So a couple of years ago, I went on a trip to Mexico, and um, when I came back, actually the last day there, I got sick. Um, I guess from the water, I don't know, I'd never been there before, um, or food poisoning or something, whatever, anyway. Uh, it lasted for a long time. Uh, it did not go away in the normal amount of time and I got severely dehydrated and my doctor told me to go get Pedialyte. I had never, I was drinking Gatorade. It just wasn't helping and he said to go get Pedialyte. It's the absolute best thing that you can put in your body if you can handle the sweetness. So what I did is I, um, the first couple <laughs> of these I just you know, forced down, uh, and within an hour or two hours, I was feeling, uh, probably 95% better. Um, then from that point forward, I just cut it with water. So I'll put, um, a fourth to a half of this to whatever, a uh, half of the water mixture. And if we're feeling dehydrated or whatnot, um, this is wonderful. So it's not just for kids and they actually do have, this is the Pedialyte. you. I don't know where I left off. Um, if you guys have kids in school, then you will understand my reasoning for <laughs> utilizing this uh, because sometimes life just happens. So I uh, found this. It is rosemary, citronella, tea tree oil. Um, it's gluten, soy, dairy, and nut free. And it is the Fairy Tales brand. And I just spray this on my kids' backpacks when they come home um, after school. Not every day, but any time that I can remember it. And it is just supposed to help repel lice. Um, so I've had this probably for two years and I just got through one bottle of it. So you don't need very much. I just, um, football helmets, um, sports gear, <laughs> sports bags, anything like that. I just, a couple of spritzes and then there we go and we haven't had any issues with the little buggies, okay? Um, so next coming out of the bag, these are, this is in no particular order by the way, is this, which is the Grandma's um, Stain Laundry Spray. And this is by far the best stain remover that I have 
used aside from just plain Dawn dish soap. Um, I always, I recently within the last few years have started wearing aprons, but prior to that, I really didn't. Um, I guess because I just felt awkward, I don't know. So I would get those splatter stains on my clothes and this or the Dawn dish soap would take it out. But for any other kind of stains, um, it says paint, makeup, grass, clay, inks, blood, baby formula, tar, spaghetti sauce, coffee. All right, let's try this again. So this is the Sambacol uh, Elderberry Liquid. There we go. And um, I take this during flu season. I'm a school teacher, so, you know, I mean, it's just another kind of preventative. And I generally take the Chewies kind of like um, the Ashwagandha Chewies. But um, this liquid, mm -mm, I can't do it. Um, other people swear by it, and I really had to choke this down. Um, it was, it's pretty thick, and it's very intense um, to the point where it doesn't really taste like grape. So, yeah, I'm not going to be ordering that again. This um, is was my last tube of this. This is the Avon um, Intensive Moisture Therapy. And I have uh, dyshydratic eczema on my hands to the point where when I was younger, I had such a reaction where I actually lost some of my fingernails. And uh, come to find out, uh, it usually happens to people that work like as dishwashers or they have their hands in liquid a lot. And um, it was either an allergic reaction to fake nails that I used to put on, like to the glue. Um, or what I found was like the um, super cheap, like Equate dish soap, or not dish soap, but hand soap, or any of the uh, super strong hand soaps that are in public restrooms, that I have a reaction to those. And I would get tiny little blisters all along my uh, cuticle line and actually I don't know if you guys can see that or not but I don't really have a cuticle on my thumbs anymore um, and my thumbs are the fingernails that came off it sounds really gross because it is really gross but anyway so I can't really use hand lotions um, so this is one of the few lotions that I can use and I'm trying to find alternatives because I do, I do not believe that this is a clean um, or chemical-free um, mixture, but it literally is the best hand lotion I have ever used. Um, in its place, I have found this. This is Burt's Burt Bees. Um, hand cream and uh, this one came in a set of three uh, it is the cream pour la main and this is with shea butter this one is rosemary lemon and it is not my favorite but there is a lavender vanilla that is absolutely wonderful and this is a close second um, so I'm gonna see if I can find these in a bigger tube so if you guys know about them uh, or where I could find a bigger tube. If you can leave that in the comment, then that would be awesome. Um, otherwise, I may have to look at going back to the Avon. A uh, good example of that is this. This is the Alba Botanicals Acne Wash. And um, we did end up using all of this, um, but we used it as body wash and not face wash. And the reason is because I broke out so badly in cystic acne um, after using this. There was just something in there that I did not react well to, so I will not be buying this one again. Um, I'm wondering if it has tea tree in it because tea tree is supposed to be really great for your skin but it is not really great for my skin also um any kind of vitamin c that is not the pure vitamin c um that will also break me out but i'm not seeing vitamin c in there so i'm wondering if it is tea tree 
So anyway, um, the next thing that we did like, and this is a clean brand, this is Puracy. Why is this not? Mm -mm. There we go, finally. This is the Puracy body wash and it is in bergamot and sandalwood and we really liked this. It smells fabulous. No, I rinsed everything out so I can't smell it anymore, but it smelled really good and it wasn't drying. Um, so we did really like this body wash and I probably will purchase that again. Um, another thing that I did like, uh, Burt's Bees is hitting it with the lotion, I tell you. The Burt's Bees body lotion, and let's see. Nope, gotta go backwards. I don't know that this had a fragrance. Nope, it just says dry skin. Oh no, it's cocoa and kapuka butter. Kapuka butter. Um, and this was great. Like, there's nothing left of this. Not really great on my hands. Like, it just didn't last. Um, but it felt wonderful on the body. Um, yeah. So, this definitely is a great purchase. And it smells... And my battery died. So, it's, it's just... I mean, it's like the Mondayest Monday. In a while. Okay, so... Like I was saying, I did go back to a salon brand, which I'm not gonna mention because I do love a good portion of their products, but I got the shampoo for brown hair, which is blue. It says that it is sulfate free, but I think that that's about it because my hair is not responding well to it. Um, not nearly as good as it did when I was using these. Um, so I am gonna use it up, but I won't buy it again. Um, and then, this is actually my second bottle of the Heritage, um, hello, conditioner. And they have fragrance free, but then they also have um, some that do have a fragrance to them and they smell fabulous. But this is great. I'm just, I'm super duper happy with this product. Um, okay, so here's the next product. This is another Heritage product, and this is actually the Day 2 Hair Refresher. Um, this is the Day 2 um, Refresher, and you're supposed to just spray it on. Yep, focus back on me. Yep. Okay, you're supposed to just be able to spray it on, scrunch it, and then have your hair, uh, you know, go back to its really curly, non- uh, frizzy state, which I'm trying to show you guys mine. I did have mine down today, but I put it back up when I was cleaning and everything. Um, so I didn't care for it. I felt like it was sticky and that it just kind of stayed sticky. Um, so I probably won't purchase this again, but again, I loved the shampoo and the conditioner. Okay, so this one is the first conditioner that I used. There we go. This one was for color care, and I loved it also. This worked really well. Um, <clears throat> so I will get my hair wet, wash my hair, and then um, put conditioner in it, scrunch it, scrunch it, scrunch it until it squishes. Like you can hear that, and that's called squish to condish. And then I will put it up in a bun and clip it in the shower and then go about the rest of my shower business and then rinse it out briefly. If there's some that stays in there, then that's okay because curly hair needs the moisture. And then I actually do a leave-in conditioner um, that I will talk about at a different time. If you guys want me to go through my um, curly hair, like, I don't know, what am I trying to say? It's not system. Um... If you want me to go through that, then I will. Okay, um, the next thing is the Curology Face Wash. And this came in my um, first month trial packet. And it was fine. I mean, I liked it. I didn't break out from it. It was very, very, very gentle. It's non-foaming. So it was fine. Um, I don't think that I would purchase it from there. But it, I mean, it was great. It was free. So I didn't mind it. 
So this was um, one of my bottles of Curology. It has 0.18% um, tretinoin, 1% clindamycin, and 8% azelaic acid, azelaic acid, and then <coughs> the carrier that it comes in. And I do like it. I am severely broken out right now. Um, I don't know if it's hormonal or whatever, but I do, I'm, I am going back to a dermatologist in June. That's the soonest that they could get me in was June. Um, okay, so moving on to some face stuff. So this is my um, Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I wanted to say it right. Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And if I can get to it, there you go. And I did like this. I do a two-part cleanse where I do an oil cleanse first um, and, and dissolve the makeup if I've worn any and then um, rinse that off. And then I go ahead and wash my face um, with an actual gentle cleanser. And um, this one worked uh, really well. I, what I am right now using jojoba oil, which is supposed to be the closest in nature to our actual oil. Um, and I haven't figured out the system for that yet. So I may end up going back to this. Um, this is not an empty, but I'm not going to finish it because this is the um, unique brand of the oil cleanser and you're supposed to shake it up to emulsify it and then shake some into your hands and then use it to take off your makeup. One, it doesn't work for me and two, it breaks me out. So um, I am not gonna be finishing this. I am gonna see if maybe my sister wants it. A couple of other things, um, this is the Bear Minerals Bear Haven. Yes. And this is a moisturizing cream from Bear Minerals. And it is just lovely. It is, it is so lovely. I was so disappointed when I ran out of this because it's not oily. It smells fabulous. It feels so luxurious on the skin. Um, but I don't know if I'll be buying it because that stuff's pretty pricey and I use moisturizer every day. So I need, and I'm trying to be on top of my budget. So I need something that is uh, more budget friendly than that. And, um, that has skincare ingredients and anti-aging ingredients that are clean and natural um, and that don't break the bank. And one of those is this. This is um, the Timeless CoQ10 Serum. And I love this serum. It is just wonderful. It's an antioxidant, which fights the free radicals um, in the air or in our skin and helps just to get the gunk out. So I love this. If you guys want <laughs> some super great information about uh, skincare and anti-aging, go check out Angie over at Angie Hot and Flashy. She is, she is <laughs> First of all, she looks younger than me, and she's quite a bit older than I am. I think that she's 59, and she literally looks like she's 35. At least she does on camera. Um, and I have started following um, her skincare routine, and um, aside from the breakouts that I'm getting, which I thought was maskne, and it may still be um, some of that, um, or just recovery because we just stopped wearing masks at school. Um, her skincare routine has worked so, so well for me and she'd be able to give you so much more information than I would. But so this is empty. Um, this is the first one that I went through and it probably took me six to seven weeks to go through this. Um, and it's really nice. So I love that. Um, so yeah, um, let's try and get this ended before this, uh, whole whole thing goes down in flames. So that was my very first empties video. I think that I will try to 
to not do it for so long uh, because this bag was overflowing. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can't figure out if there is recycling around here. I live in a rural area and some of those things are unattainable for us, um, but I am looking into it. So I hope that you guys like this video. If you um, have any suggestions on really great hand lotion, um, that is similar to the Avon Moisture Therapy Intensive Healing Repair. And this does say that it is dermatology tested. Um, it is the Hydra Boost technology. So again, this, if you have any suggestions on a replacement for this, then um, please let me know. The cleaner, the better. And I would love to try it because I miss that lotion. So anyway, um, if you found this entertaining, it was a train wreck. But if you found the train wreck of my video to be entertaining, then give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like the video. Let me know if you guys want to see more lifestyle content like this or if you are more interested in the budgeting, whatever. I'm trying to do a good mixture of things because, um, you know, we have to have good time. We can't be focused on money all the time. Um, and there are other aspects of life uh, that we need to be working on. And I kind of feel like it takes a village for everything, not just to raise a kid. So um, if I can help you and you can help me, then it's all good, right? So anyway, um, I will see you guys next time. And... Laters.